Alright, this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today we're going to be building a template to get that perfect seed spacing in a square foot garden or any garden. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to uh, start this project out is just get a nice square piece of wood and it's going to need to be exactly 12 inches by 12 inches, so a 12 inch square. Um, and uh, you know, you can use whatever kind of wood that you want. This is actually a piece of an old uh, picnic table uh, bench that I'm using here uh, and I just kind of sanded it down and squared it up so that it was a nice uh, square uh, 12 inch by 12 inch piece of wood here and this should work just fine. It's not perfect but it'll work okay. You could also use a piece of like half inch or three quarter inch plywood or any type of scrap wood that you want to use to uh, come up with your square. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is start off with making our grid and the best grid that I found that kind of works well for everything is going to be three quarter inch, so there's going to be a line every three quarter inches um, and so we want to start marking our three quarter inches all the way across to the top and then from the same edge on the bottom do the same thing and then do the same thing here mark three quarters inch all the way down and measure from the same edge here and then make a three quarter inch mark so I'll go ahead and get that done okay so I think the easiest way to, to actually lay out the grid is probably to use a different colored uh, pencil um, or marker or whatever you want to use so that every fourth line is a different color. Um, that'll just help us lay out our grid later on. Uh, you can also lay it out on a piece of cardboard just like I did here with all the different holes and then use this as a template to mark the holes on the actual piece of wood. Um, but I, I found it easiest just to lay it out right on the piece of wood and then we're just going to sand these grid lines off later. Okay, so this gives us our perfect starting point here where we can start to make mark out all of the holes that we need to drill. So this gives us our 16 by 16 grid. Um, 16 is generally the most uh, that you'll ever plant in one square. There are some things that you plant more of than that and that's fine. If you plan on planting something you put 32 in a square then you can adjust it. But uh, we, we only plant uh, carrots and radishes, things like that. That's the most you ever plant in a square and that's 16. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is just kind of make a mark here. Just kind of uh, <clears throat> identify the center of each one of these, uh, these squares that we just made. So this will give us our 16 holes where we're going to set up our planters for uh, carrots and radishes and, and other things like that. So just the center grid spot in each one of those squares. So we're going to drill a hole in that spot. All the holes we're going to drill are all going to be the same size. So we don't need to worry about uh, marking different sizes or anything like that. So that gives us our 16. Now another thing that we may do is we may plant um, some things require eight spots. Um, so something like uh, peas for instance. And so what we're going to do is right on the orange line just count down two and we're going to drill a hole right there. So basically the center spot on the orange line in your square. So we'll go to the next one, the center spot right here. Center spot right here. Center spot right here. And we're going to do the same thing on this far line over here. And that gives us eight holes for planting peas or other things that require eight. Uh, another thing you might have is that it might require four per square and that is like onions and things like that. And so we're just going to use these crosses here where the, the first uh, square crosses the orange line and then down here as well in this corner and then same thing over here and the same thing over here. So that gives us our four spots for planting onions and other things that require four. Another common uh, common one, it would be one, obviously, right in the center, so larger plants, broccoli and things like that, tomatoes, just one. And another one is, uh, is pretty common, is nine. Uh, so nine is going to be sharing the same hole here, 
this center hole. So we're gonna drill another hole here. It shares this hole. And then down to this grid here, it shares the center hole. We'll put another one right here. It shares this hole. And then we'll put another hole right here. And it shares that hole. So that gives us our nine. Spots one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so that's all of the major, um, major ones. Now, if you wanted to, if some things require maybe two per grid, then you can use this hole and this hole, this hole and this hole. You can stagger, you know, this hole and that hole. You can use however you want to, and it doesn't matter. Um, the other thing you can do, obviously, is if you needed like three, then you could plant here, here, and here, or here, here, and here, um, and spread it out however you want to. So you can utilize the existing holes to pretty much come up with any other combination. So that's the grid that we're going to use here for all the most common uh, planting space, plant spacing. And the next thing we'll do is just go ahead and get all those holes drilled out. Okay, so we got our old holes uh, drilled and, and uh, countersunk a little bit there, and uh, I'll sand it off. Um, it would be nice if I had an actual countersink that would work a lot better here, make a nice smoother rounded edge, but uh, I don't have one, so I had to deal with what we have. So the next thing we're going to do is just uh, get a couple washers out here. Um, I'm going to use a couple different sizes. We'll probably use something like that for the middle, uh, maybe for the four corners, something like that size. Um, and then the rest of them will probably do a little one like that. So that seems like a good good sizes to use. Okay, so we've got all of our circles drawn and uh, they're not all perfect, but should give us a pretty good idea of where to stay with the paint. And I picked out a couple different colors here, or a few different colors here that I'm going to use just to kind of color code these so that uh, it makes it easier to identify which holes are which. Okay, so while our paint is drying there on the template, I'll uh, work on a couple of little things here. These are just some three quarter inch by three quarter inch squares that I cut out of that same scrap uh, tabletop or benches that uh, I'm using. Uh, they're about six inches long. These are gonna get screwed to each side of the template to act as kind of handles so we can lift it up and down. And so we'll set those aside. Then I also have a little, this is gonna become like a little seed pusher and hole starter. And uh, I'll show you how this all works here once we get it finished. Uh, but all I did here was just cut a little one inch by one inch or inch and a half by inch and a half piece of wood and sanded it down on the belt sander to uh, leave a little nub here in the middle um, and uh, that's just to, to mount this into. So I'm going to see how, how this works for us. You could do anything you want. You could make a round handle for it. You could just use a square piece of wood, um, whatever you want to do to make a little handle for this. So I'm going to drill a hole here in the top and I'm using a 1360 force drill bit to drill this in and that, that gets this quarter inch dowel, it really fits in there tight. In fact, I'll tap it in with a hammer and a little bit of wood glue and that should uh, secure it in there nicely. So hopefully we can get this drilled here without uh, splitting this all into pieces. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is get our handles mounted on here. So I'm just centering these along the edges and pre-drilling some holes to fit those screws. Okay, so the last thing I need to do here is just kind of cut this apart a little bit. And uh, the reason I need to do that is because when you're planting in a square foot garden, when you get into the corner of the bed or the center of the bed, in mine anyway, there's a post. And so I can't fit the square right into that corner to get a good seed spacing in the, in the corners and the center spots. And so I'm gonna actually notch out the corners here on both sides and uh, make this kind of a, a removable or on a hinge so that those can flap out of the way and we can fit that right into the corner. Um, so I'm going to use this uh, circular saw to cut these squares out and then just mount some hinges in there. Okay, one more thing to do with this and uh, that is to kind of set up the seed planting depths on our little po poker or pusher here. Um, and I'm just using some, some washable uh, Crayola markers. Uh, you could use paint or whatever you want to do on here. But basically what I did was I, mar I measured um, the depth where this sits flat on the bottom. So I started with that and I made a line around the dowel there. And then I just measured up in quarter inch increments. 
And so if you have your, uh, you know, let's say you're planting carrots, then you would just push this through to the quarter inch mark. So you'd go ahead and push it through until it lines up with the blue. If you want to go a half inch, you'd go all the way down to the green. If you wanted to go three quarters of an inch, you'd go all the way down to the orange, and then a full inch is all the way in. Okay, to seal this up, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with some clear spray lacquer. Okay, so we've got our, uh, do a little demonstration here. We've got the square foot template in the corner of our bed here. I've got the one of the little flaps uh, lifted up so I can fit that nice and firmly into the corner. And uh, we're gonna experiment here or do a little test with some pea seeds. Um, these are just some sugar snap peas that we're planting. Uh, and I will put a link in the description to a good resource that I use um, that gives a list of all of the different types of plants and their particular seed spacing for the square foot gardening method. Um, and just as a note, you can use this template for any garden, um, any raised beds or any garden really, and use this for plant spacing, or you can design a different one for your particular type of uh, method that you like to use. But it works great for the square foot gardening method. So, um, so once uh, you've got your little template in here, I'm just looking up the depth on these seeds, and uh, the peas generally are over an inch deep. So we're going to actually push down a hole that's just about just over this orange mark that I made. So just about just over an inch. Um, peas are eight per square foot, and so we're going to use our purple holes here. Uh, I won't be able to get into these two in the corners just because of this molding that I have on the side, and uh, so we'll just mark those holes and then do those manually. So we'll go ahead and just get our holes pushed in here, get a little pusher, and that gives us our depth guide as well. And then we'll just come by and drop a pea seed in each one of those purple holes. Some big ones there, they might not fit. And then just push the seed down to the proper depth. Do a little force on that one, that was a big one. <laughs> you can drill the holes bigger too for whatever types of seeds you're planting. I'm just going to try to get a little mark put in on these uh, holes that are underneath the molding so we can see where those are. And then when you take the template off, I can just put those ones in manually. And then just go ahead and dust your soil over and water them in. And that square is planted. It's that easy. All right, so I'm real happy with the way that the template turned out. I've been using it here to plant out some of these square foot gardens already, and it just makes it so much easier to use, uh, so much easier to plant them out and a lot quicker. Um, the whole idea of using a template like this and the square foot gardening method is that um, it's a much more efficient way to plant. Uh, you can also get a lot more crops in a smaller area since we're dealing with these smaller raised beds. It makes everything really nice and, and in a line, and you also make sure that each plant has the optimal spacing to grow uh, you know, vertically and uh, horizontally as much as it needs to. So um, using a template like this is a great way to go for square foot gardening. Um, the whole reason a lot of people ask about square foot gardening, what's the point of it? There are a lot of benefits of raised beds and square foot gardening, but uh, um, one of the reasons that we use a template like this is uh, it's more efficient to plant. So instead of just uh, digging a trench and say sprinkling in carrot seeds and then as soon as they grow up, you know, you just pluck out and thin them out to one inch or two inches apart. Um, this way you're very controlled, you only put one or two seeds in each hole, uh, you know, anything that doesn't grow up in that space, you come back later and you replant that just that one spot. So you use a lot less seed when you're planting this way. It also makes sure that everything has the optimal, you don't really have to do any thinning, maybe a little bit, but uh, you don't have to do any thinning or anything like that. Um, so it makes it a, a much more efficient way to garden. Um, if you don't want to go into making a temple like this, if you're just getting into square foot gardening, you know, we used this for the first couple beds here. Just a square piece of cardboard with that same grid pattern that we did on here, marked onto it, color coded. Uh, this works just fine as well. And uh, just, you know, grab a dowel or something like that to stick through or a pencil or whatever you have. So this works as well to, to get that good spacing uh, for you. So. Um, but all in all, you know, I think this was a great project. Uh, you know, I really like the way everything is color coded so the kids can come out here and you can just say, all right, you know, we're planting peas, everything goes in the purple holes and they can just go through and do it all. It's very easy and everything turns out just perfect. So um, hopefully you found it informational. Hopefully this will, you know, give you an idea of something that you could use. You could make a larger one of these or do a lot of different things for other types of gardening methods uh, to use as a template. And uh, so hopefully this gives you an idea no matter what type of gardening that you do. 
Um, if you guys have questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. Throw those down below. Um, I try to answer everybody's questions. And if you have something to add, maybe that we missed or something you do differently, um, please share that as well. That helps me and it also helps the other viewers of the videos as well. So uh, uh, please throw any comments or suggestions that you have down below. Please hit thumbs up on the video. I always appreciate it. It makes a huge difference. If you just reach down and hit that thumbs up, uh, it, it does uh, does mean a, lot, mean a lot to us. So I appreciate that. Um, as always, you can subscribe to our channels if you stick around to the end slide. There's a couple links there to subscribe to any of the SSL family channels. Um, and as always, you guys can check us out on our blog at simplesuburbanliving.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. We have a lot of different things we put out daily and uh, um, sometimes hourly, just depending on what we have going on over here. So, um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one. That's that's cool. that one's beautiful.